Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungainy Titan. We're here on Kazarine Pass and I'm in the Skoda T40. Uh, I decided finally, yes, that I'm going to go with the minor nations so that while I'm playing the out, playing out, or more properly grinding out the final XP on the T95 and the two artilleries, that I would actually play the premium tanks of the minor nations and I actually went off and acquired tier 2 Polish tank destroyer tiny little thing on a kernel light chassis or something like that I decided I'd play these to build up experience on the cruise so that when I started the grind proper on the various um, minor nations, Poland, Poland Czech, Czech, Czechoslovakia really and uh, what's the other place, uh, Sweden, possibly Italy that I would have a uh, cruise with at least a couple of at least one or two skills, maybe three skills uh, built up before I start on the grind because it makes it just so much easier uh, I mean I've been back here with this tank now and I'm looking at it and even though I've only got I've got like two skills on this tank or I'm training a second skill I can't remember exactly what level I'm at now I'm training uh, recon but I noticed that it's you have to be much more cautious in your playstyle it's um, everything do, it makes a difference the extra benefit of the skills, the extra little bit on aiming time, the extra little bit that you get from the various when you have a high skill crew, the extra cover, uh, the extra re view range and all that sort of stuff, makes a big difference. And when you don't have them, you have to be considerably more careful about your tank. As the tank goes, it's not a bad tank. Actually, I quite enjoy this tank. It has... Um, Armour is just, we'll not speak about the armour really, there's no armour to speak of. It does good mobility and is, well the view range is reasonable for its tier, I mean it's going to be detected further out than it's viewed by, on its base stats. So you're going to have to make up for the difference on crew and I don't have a crew that's up to making up for the difference at the moment. I'm being spotted here behind me and I didn't quite realise this guy pushed so aggressively forward but he has been dealt with because he's surrounded by allied tanks. But the gun is pretty good, it's accurate, it takes a long time to aim, it's his biggest downside and I have a problem with the aiming, you know, I've put a gun lane drive on it, but I'm not sure if it's worth it because I'm, the thing about a medium tank like this is you tend to just keep driving around, you tend not to stop moving, so I'm not sure if the advantage of having a gun lane drive is worth it, I might be better off using vents. I'm trying to spot enemy tanks here and push forward if I can and maybe get shots off. Gun depression is also a problem with this tank. It's a typical Soviet uh, style medium tank, you know, kind of in the mould of the T-43, the T-34, 85, that kind of era, that kind of period. And it's a similar kind of uh, role and design. It'll play in a similar kind of way, except the fact that it's probably got worse armour than a T-34, 85 probably in the same level as the T-43, that kind of way. T-43's probably got a better gun and better mobility though. So overall it's, but it's good, it's, I think it's okay and it's a decent enough crew trainer. And it makes money, it's a good money earner as well as a tank and I'm pushing out here. There's a Sherman out here and I make a mistake that I've often made on this map where I think I have a bit more map than I have and I can get into low ground over here but there isn't any because you run out of map. However, that Sherman has uh, again advanced too far forward, and this is why I switched to premium. Yes, it was the Sherman. I was bouncing it off the front of the Sherman. Shoot on the move, and I hit the Sherman. It's good for snapshotting, and it reloads fast enough that you're. And you've got enough ammunition, and it's worthwhile snapshotting on the move. Even though the gun act. gun lane. what is it? The, the gun accuracy. not the gun accuracy. the. Um, the time. Yes, the aiming time is a bit on the long side. The um, complete brain breakdown there, getting old. So, as per usual with me, I forget. Um, I switched to premium rounds. Now, it's probably something we said for having premium around here, but I don't need to be shooting premium at a T43. And I completely forget that I had switched to premium to deal with the front of the Sherman and then forget to um, switch back. So, I spend more money than I should or need to sometimes in these battles, and I play most of this battle actually with the premium rounds loaded it's a consistent failure of mine there's a hellcat down there as well six degrees of gun depression so you can really expose too much tank coming over the ridges so it's a thing to not do if you can avoid it try and find yourself in places where you can minimize the uh, downside of having that poor gun depression like i said very much 
a medium tank in the Soviet mid-tier mold. However, having pushed this flank, I'm the one that's doing most of the spotting for my team. And in fairness, they are um, shooting people that I'm spotting. So there's a Hellcat here not paying any attention to me. The guys that were most of a threat to me, the T-43 and the Crusader, have um, found an elsewhere to be. Uh, I haven't been able to take them out. I didn't, do any, didn't land a finger on the Crusader, but uh, the T-43 was close enough. And then there's a Churchill coming gunning for me, so I shoot at the Churchill's tracks. I don't know whether I tracked him, I think I did, but I'm not hanging around to face out a DPM fight with a Churchill. He will put every round that he fires at me through, whatever part of me he wants. Now I'll probably be able to do the same back, but the thing is he'll fire three rounds to my two, and three rounds is probably all he needs. Now I should have probably ducked in behind this rock, um, more, more so than I did, and therefore I take a shot in the ass from the Churchill, but the Churchill stopped out in the open to get me, and I think he's just got taken out by artillery, uh, pretty much from full health. So I'm back at the back, waiting for the spot to go away. There can't be many tanks left in that area. We've taken out the Hellcat, we've taken out the Churchill, the Crusader was last seen making a swift exit. Now, if he's still down there, I don't mind fighting the Crusader. I, I know he can kill me easily enough but I can kill him easily enough too and the T-43 would be more of a threat because he's got a much more powerful gun than the Crusader the Crusader will have the two pounder which won't be doing a hell of a lot of damage and there's not I suppose it's a better performance performance is about the same it's got better accuracy of course it's got a faster reload however we're pushing forward there's nobody here there's nobody at all, and okay, the medium tank is follow the light tank is following me up rather than scouting for me. Well, I'm probably just as fast as that AMX. And we find an absolution. I don't want to shot it by an absolution. I, absolutions are pretty tough. Now he doesn't have a lot of health left, so he's a one-shot kill. So we wait for the reload. We come around, and the gun depression lets me down. I get pointing up in the air, so I pull back. From the slope, but while the Absolution is now engaged with the AMX, we take him out, and the Crusader is now remaining. He's a one shot as well, and just let the gun settle. We take him out, and that's two more down. Now, where is. There's the T 43. Oops, pull back, pull back. It's not great on reverse, and I do take the hit, and I don't really want to stick my nose out for the T 43 again. I signal. Would be very nice of somebody to go with that T43 for me. He's no longer spotted, so I'm gonna have to peek. But just as I'm peeking, um, the artillery takes him out. I don't think the artillery hit him, but that was a very tight shot to pull the shell over the top there and get it close enough for the splash damage to take out the T43. That artillery, I think, did very well. So, final analysis of this whole thing let's go to T40. Now, okay, the money is inflated by. Um, various things, the, look at the Irish and uh, other uh, operational details. We got an ace tanker, so we've 1200 damage, 1300 assistant damage, 3 destroyed. But that is actually a relatively low experience, it's 1440 experience, base experience to get the ace tanker. So I think if you want a handy ace tanker and you have a Skoda T40 at the moment, it might be worth your while taking it out and kicking it for a spin and a few battles. We come number two by experience because the M41 HMC beats us to it and does a lot better than us in damage, actually does like twice as better. Slightly more than twice as better. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Feel free to comment. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.